Right guys, there's been a new addition to my uh, mantelpiece of death. You got the nook dust knife combo, you got the spike gauntlets, but now we've got the black hands of death. I'm gonna put them on, I'm gonna put the black hands of death onto you, on, on, on my hands, and explain uh, the concept behind them. Got the black hands of death on. Now why have I got these black hands, the little fingerless leather gloves? Well, one for working out, because I like to do weightlifting, and uh, just protect your hands a little bit. The other reason is for when the telephone tough guys and the keyboard warriors finally get the bollocks to come through my front door, right? I was thinking the knock dust knife combo and the spike gauntlets might be overkill. I might not need that much weaponry. I might just need my fists. But as I punch them in the face, right, and break their fucking teeth, I don't want to get my knuckles nicked by their broken teeth. Do you know what I mean? Their teeth all jagged and broken. I don't want my, I don't want my knuckles, the skin on my fucking knuckles, to get cut. So I've got these protective leather gloves. Badass, isn't they? Show you something else good on them. See, it's got a little snake skin design. See that snake skin? Like, it's leather, it's not actual snake skin. But... Let's have a weight update. You know, weight? Like, I'm a big dude, believe it or not. I'm heavy, heavy guy. I'm not that tall, I'm six foot one. And so he's a fat bastard. This ain't a fat bastard, ladies. That ain't a fat bastard. That is not fat there. That's not a fat fuck, that is. You're training hard. I've got my diet sorted out. I've got my strength and conditioning sorted out. I've got my diet sorted out. That's, that's solid. I fucking love it. I do loads of weightlifting as well. I fucking love being a big hard bastard. Big scary motherfucker. Let's go check my weight. Got the scales, and these scales are verified by another set of scales at my mum's. So these do these these scales aren't bullshit. Right, let's stand on them. Hundred about hundred and well hundred and fifteen kilo. I don't know if you can see that. You see hundred and fifteen kilo. Right. Who weighs hundred and fifteen kilo? Anthony Joshua weighs 115 kilo. Yeah, he's six foot six. He's about here on me. A lot taller than me, but he weighs 115 kilo. You'll say, another the keyboard boys, I'll say them scales are wrong. They're bullshit scales. No, they've been verified by another set of scales. I'm a very heavily built man. Heavily muscled, heavily built. Scary fucking dude. That's probably why no one's turned up at my front door yet. And that's probably also why the police don't like coming round here. They're pretty fucking scared of me, because I'm a pretty terrifying man. And that's just the truth. I'm just being honest with you. Right? Oh, Whiskey Victor, he never turned up. He was a copper. He never faced me. I wonder why. Because you don't want to get battered, that's why. 115 kilo. When I get up to 120 kilo, well, maybe I want to go a bit higher. I don't know. Then I might want to start, you know, trying to call out people. Call out heavyweight boxers. Because I'm not getting fights against anyone else. Now, something else I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you science in a minute. I want to talk to you more science. Um, I think I'm training tonight. I'm, doing, I'm training regularly, you know. I do train. I'm not just a fat bastard. Oh, and by the way, for people who don't know, 115 kilos, 18 stone, and it's 253 pounds, I think. It's about 18 stone. So I'm a heavy dude, and I'm not to be fucked with. Science, yeah, let's get to the science, finally. Okay, the science. What do I want to talk about? Uh, with the science. What I want to say, something I think, I've got a theory, something I think we've got totally wrong in science is this idea of measuring electric energy with three different measurements. So we've got volts, amps and watts. Now, why we've got Watts, I don't know, because that's actually named after James Watt, who was involved with refining the steam engine. So why are we using Watts, James Watt, as a measurement of electrical energy? I've no idea. Um, but what I think is volts, amps, and watts are all different increments of electrical energy itself. And I think we've got it totally, our understanding, we've got totally confused. 
because we think we need volts, we need amps, and we need watts. We need all three to, to make, say, an electrical motor work. And I don't think you do. I think you just need you need to just need to take your pick. A way of explaining, a way of trying to simplify it and understand it. You know how with water, you can measure water in terms of liters, in terms of gallons, or in terms of fluid ounces. Three different measurements for water, and it all just measures water in different increments. Well, I think the same thing applies with electrical energy. I've looked into I've looked into volts, amps, and watts, and I mean the person my personal preference of measuring electric um, is volts. Voltage, high voltage has a lot of energy. High voltage can kill you. High voltage is what is used. A high number of volts is what is used to send electrical energy along pylons across countries. Um, 400,000 volts is what they use in pylons usually. Why do you need amps and watts? Or to push the electric along? No, you don't. It's just three different measurements of the same thing, electrical energy. I'm sure of it. I'm sure the scientific community have got themselves in a right mess, totally confused, thinking you need all three. Because I don't. I think you just need to take your pick. Maybe you prefer amps. Maybe you prefer measuring electrical energy in terms of amps. Or maybe you prefer watts. Uh, some people might prefer watts. And some people might prefer volts, like me. Because um, why do I prefer volts? It's just what I'm used to working with. Um, and, well, Volta, Alessandro Volta is one of my favourite scientists because, well, he invented the battery, the first battery, and he's a very important scientist, and his volt, volts is named after him, Volta. So, yeah, that's why I prefer volts. Now, in the next video, I'm gonna talk about another invention I've done on top of the perpetual turbine. So I've got the perpetual turbine, which does make net positive energy, clean, green energy. It has been suppressed by the ruling class, because they don't want us to have clean green energy. But I've also come up with another um, invention called the Ring of Power. And I'll talk about it in the next video. Um, and Ring of Power is a great name because that leads me on to my next thing. I've got my rings of power up here. You know, six rings that form two knuckle dusters on each hand. A knuckle duster on each hand. But I've also got my knuckle dust knife combo. On my mantelpiece of death, spike gauntlets, the black hands of death. Um, the knife, right, so I wanted to uh, give a shout out to someone, because someone phoned me up and was very nice to me, and he was trying to give me some uh, ideas on how I could make the perpetual turbine even better. Uh, so I'm going to give him a shout out, because he actually makes knives. So maybe you want to make your own dust knife combo on your mantelpiece. And the shout out for him, uh, it's on Instagram, and it's made by Meris. So I'll put that on the screen. Um, so it's just a shout out for him because he, he phoned me up and he had, I had a little chat with him. He's a nice guy. So yeah. All right. And that's the end of the video. So see you later.